Welcome back to Around the Table with Stacey Smith as we take a look at the economy and investing. Now, as I mentioned, the stock markets have made some impressive gains already this year, and the rally is now including more sectors of the economy. But Kim, my question, is this rally in stock prices fundamentally sound or are stocks overvalued at this time? Uh, I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there are some overvalued stocks and we could pick on the Magnificent Seven. Some uh, deserve to get knocked off of that a little bit. I'll pick on my favorite, NVIDIA. I know most people can't talk about names, but I can. Um, NVIDIA, please don't buy it right now. It it looks like it's priced to over perfection. It's a great company. That doesn't mean you shouldn't hold it in your portfolio, but please don't initiate new positions because it looks very rich on any metric. And what we're looking at companies is what is their price today? Price is important, but not everything. There are metrics that tell you how the company is run and that would be like return on equity or return on invested capital. And this allows you to compare um, stocks to each other because price just doesn't do it. Because what you're talking about with price is well, how big is the, of the slice of the pie is it and how big is the pie? You don't care about those things. You care about relative value if you're a stock picking investor. So um, have a long timeline. I always recommend that. But um, in the short term, there could be a lot of overvalued stocks. So look elsewhere. Look in those sectors that are unloved. And uh, that's always what I'm doing, is trying to pick up bargains here and there. And um, technology, at least some tech stocks look a little rich right now, but there are others that are not. I hate to say that, not give you any real advice, but there you go. All right, Bob, I saw you shaking your head, especially when Kim said something about uh, look at sectors that are unloved. The the uh, the idea of the Magnificent Seven is not a new concept. It is valid. If Mike Godwin were here, he would show you the dichotomy between the return of the Magnificent Seven versus all the rest of the S&P 500. Uh, it's stark. However, that is not new. When I came into this business, Frank and I, in the last century, we were, uh, the writers were concerned, aghast over the Nifty 50, analogous to the Magnificent Seven. There are sectors of the economy that lead the economy. That doesn't mean you invest just in the ones that are going great guns. You invest in the unloved portions because, let's not forget this phrase, the old economy is the customer of the new economy. Everybody moves together, not necessarily at the same speed or with the same intensity, but everybody in the economy, every company in the economy moves forward as an aggregate. So trust the U.S. economy. As has often been said, Stacy, a rising tide floats all boats. And uh, we have a rising tide, slowly rising, fortunately. This is good. And uh, it allows, uh, because it, with the changes that are going on, for instance, with AI, uh, there's a lot of fear out there about this technology, and it's probably well-founded. And I'm not smart enough to suggest that I know how to fix what everyone's afraid of, but someone is, I hope. <laughs> and they will tell us how to fix it before it becomes a bigger problem than it is a solution. Uh, and always remember, and I've said this before, and I'll just go cut straight to the end. The turtle won the race. Okay. <laughs> Shana? <laughs> I mean, I think all of the talk right now is with this fabulous seven or 10, um, as everybody alluded to. I think it's just, you know, a cautionary tale for those that are watching is that, you know, if you're looking at the broad market and you're seeing it up double digits, just be very careful because it's driven a lot by those seven to 10 stocks. If you would look at it as an equal weighted across the board, um, the market is up roughly eight or 9%. So just having that awareness, I think is helpful. If those seven magnificent seven are really driving the, the indices more than anything else to the to the positive side, uh, if they start to stumble, will they bring down the rest of the market? Definitely. It It'll slow it. And, and how much? But it depends. As, as Kim said, it depends on the uh, momentum of the overall economy. And I don't see any anything that's going to take that down into some kind of a recession, as Kim said earlier. 
Stacy, what causes a stock to go down is people who want to sell it more than the people who want to buy it want to buy it. And if those if that means that the sellers are going to have cash and they're going to put that cash somewhere. And if they put it into the unloved portion of the market, that might mean that the market will go down a little, might not go down at all. It depends on what the unloved portion is and what its weighting is on the index. And it's impossible to predict that. Right. I, I think we should point that out. And maybe Kim can give us a very quick explanation here about weighting on these indices. I mean, I bring them up. I bring up the Dow and the S&P sure. 500 and the NASDAQ. Uh, and there's, you know, the S&P 500 probably has, a, if I'm, if I'm correct, a, a better overall look at where the market is. But it, you shouldn't base everything on the indices, right? Right. And it's because of the, cow oh, you're asking the math girl to like sum this up quickly. Okay. <laughs> it's because um, it's a market cap weighted index. And what that means is the larger companies get more weighting in how their price goes. So if a really great small company goes up 100%, it doesn't move the market, it just doesn't. But if a big company goes up a little bit, it moves the market because it's market cap. It has more weight. So it's a weighted average for those math fans of, of, that are out there. Um, so that's why we can't ever really say. And as Frank said, if like, let's say healthcare, healthcare has large companies in it. Maybe healthcare takes off. Then the, the stock market wouldn't fall as people sell the Magnificent Seven and buy the, you know, I don't know, Biotech 10 or whatever it would be. Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, we have to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. 